Who could imagine that at age five, a student such as Kosi would take his first steps in product design? Kosi created his own digital object using simple modeling software that was then sent to a wonderful new tool called a fabricator. Kosi used a process known as digital fabrication. It may seem like science fiction, but it's cutting edge reality. Digital fabrication makes desktop three-dimensional design and creation as easy as using a mouse and typing a few keystrokes. The power of the Fab Lab for me is seeing what the kids can do to um, deconstruct a figure, co-construct a figure, because I really encourage them to talk to one another as they're working on it with the uh, model maker software, and then to reconstruct the, the figure or whatever it is they're doing. Building from the lessons learned in children's engineering in Paula White's class, the University of Virginia, 100 Black Men of Central Virginia, and the Albemarle County Public Schools collaborated to develop a program called Math, Men, and Mission, or MQ. MQ is a program that integrated algebra, geometry, and children's engineering. In the summer of 2010, 54 African American 5th through 8th grade boys participated in the MQ program. These boys use digital fabrication to explore the intersections among mathematics, problem solving, and engineering. In the morning, the boys worked on math, and in the afternoon, the boys did engineering design tasks that complemented the mathematics they did in the morning. The boys constructed packaging for products, developed pyramids, created a catapult, and then they tested their creations. These boys learned the underlying mathematics to support the engineering that they explored in the afternoon. Cornell University is developing a 3D fabricator for the classroom. The Fab at School 3D Fabricator will add new possibilities. This is a joint initiative with the Curry School of Education, led by Dean Bob Piatto. This initiative really, I think, is uh, remarkable for two, uh, two fundamental reasons. One, it integrates those into a package organized around engineering problems and particularly digital fabrication, uh, and, then, and then takes that uh, integrated curricular focus and places it in elementary school. Our goal is to fundamentally change how the STEM disciplines are approached in the nation's elementary classrooms and how teachers are prepared and supported to facilitate student learning and development in this new space. Our plans for this transformative learning space center on digital fabrication as the mechanism for integrating the STEM disciplines in an elementary classroom.